Breaking news. Prime Minister Andrew Holness' wife, Jillette Holness, name suddenly appears on deceased Melissa Silvera family land title. Breaking news, breaking news, everyone. It was brought to my attention, yes, that Jillette Holness's name suddenly appears on Melissa Silvera's family title. I do not know where this investigation is heading, but interesting developments. There has been ballistic um, private investigation and it is now confirmed that Joel and Silvera's gun has nothing to do with the loss of his wife, Melissa Silvera. In addition, there have been a sudden twist into the case and the UK along with other UK dignitaries are now investigating the matter. So breaking news comrades, breaking news Jamaicans. God almighty. This looks serious, man. Handful of JLP supporters stage protest. Mark Golding must go. Mark Golding respond to Andrew Holness' remarks on CDMTV about his British citizenship and running for the leader of the PNP party in the coming general election. This is the president of the People's National Party and leader of the opposition, Mark Golding. I note Prime Minister Andrew Holness's remarks in a TV interview this morning. Be the ultimate executive leader of the country, you should have no other citizenship. There should be no question by your citizens that you lead, that you do, that you have somehow split loyalties uh, that you have a parachute should in case anything go wrong mm. that you may not be subject to the full force of the laws of the country that you serve because you are a citizen of another country you 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 could always find a way out so and i think that is important i think in the minds of, of every jamaican the question would be mr holness needs to tell jamaica why his statutory declarations to the Integrity Commission cannot be certified. Third party leader Mr. Patterson explains why Prime Minister Andrew Holness can't declare his asset and the reason for all of Andrew assets are not in his name but are in overseas companies' names in tax heaven. Why do you see it fit to set up companies outside of Jamaica in tax haven areas? Uh, that you have a parachute should in case anything go wrong. Mm. Apparently, he would want to escape paying the taxes here that he puts for us to pay, that he's a part of the governance structure that says this is the taxes that we are supposed to pay. Somehow split loyalties. Why would he want to set up his company to own and control his properties outside of Jamaica? You, you, you could always find a way out when he's the Prime Minister of Jamaica. Why would you want to do that? That you may not be subject to the full force of the laws of the country that you serve. Now, that could cause you to be very concerned. Now welcome back to another exclusive for life. Now blessing goes out to all my viewers and all my subbies. All my well wishes. Like, share and also subscribe if you haven't done so already. Coming up in today's topic and review. CRC report to be tabled in Parliament today, May 21st, 2024. The government says it will table the report from the Constitutional Reform Committee in Parliament on Tuesday. This follows a meeting of the Cabinet on Monday, Minister of Legal and Constitutional Affairs. Marlene Malahu Forte says a period of public education will begin shortly. I'm pleased to report that having considered the report of the Constitutional Reform Committee on the transition to the Republic of Jamaica, Cabinet has given its approval for the tabling of the said report in Parliament today. It will be tabled as a ministry paper from the Ministry of Legal and Constitutional Affairs for all Jamaicans to have access to, to read and to discuss. Uh, the Government of Jamaica led by Prime Minister Holness is committed to pursuing the reform of our constitution beginning with the abolition of the monarchy as Jamaica's head of state. 
PMP said PM Andrew paid Hungry Belly, poor Jamaicans, to stage protest against Mark Golding. God Almighty, this looks serious, man. To an Mark Golding call out PM Andrew Holness on hypocrisy, as Andrew Holness assigned legion to the King of the United Kingdom. There should be no question by your citizens that you lead, that you do, that you have somehow split loyalties. The oath of a privy councillor, you do swear by Almighty God to be a true and faithful servant unto the Queen's Majesty as one of Her Majesty's privy council. You will not know or understand of any manner of thing to be attempted, done or spoken against Her Majesty's person, honor, crown or dignity royal, but you will let and withstand the same to the uttermost of your power, and either cause it to be revealed to Her Majesty herself, or to such of Her Privy Council as shall advertise Her Majesty of the same. You will in all things to be moved, treated and debated in council, faithfully and truly declare your mind and opinion, according to your heart and conscience, and will keep secret all matters committed and revealed, unto you, or that shall be treated of secretly in council. And if any of the said treaties or councils shall touch any of the councillors you will not, reveal it unto him but will keep the same until such time as, by the consent of Her Majesty or of the council, publication shall be made, thereof. You will to your uttermost bear faith and allegiance to the Queen's Majesty, and will assist and defend all civil and temporal jurisdictions, preeminences, and authorities granted to Her Majesty, and annexed to the Crown by Acts of Parliament, or otherwise, against all foreign princes, persons, prelates, states, or potentates. And, generally in all things you will do as a faithful and true servant ought to, do to Her Majesty, so help you God. Uh, that you have a parachute should in case anything go wrong. Mm. That you may not be subject to the full force of the laws of the country that you serve because you are a citizen of another country. You, you, you could always find a way out. So, and I think that is important. I think in the minds of, of every Jamaican, the question would be... Neither he nor his party has made those proposals as part of the process of constitutional reform. His proposals are therefore not in the report of the Constitutional Reform Committee and will not be in the new constitution coming out of that process. Furthermore, Mr. Holness's proposals this morning are not in the existing constitution and would violate the existing constitution. This is in keeping with his and his government's unfortunate history of past violations of the Constitution of Jamaica. It seems that the Prime Minister wants to make up a rule which is not part of the Constitution or laws of Jamaica to suit his party's political fortune at a time when it is waning. He has no power and no authority to do that. Mr. Holness needs to tell Jamaica why his statutory declarations to the Integrity Commission cannot be certified. I am compliant with the Constitution and laws of Jamaica, and I undertake to the people of Jamaica that I will continue to be so. Third party leader Mr. Patterson explains why Prime Minister Andrew Holness can't declare his asset, and the reason for all of Andrew assets are not in his name, but are in overseas companies' names, in tax heaven. Have you ever asked yourself, why is it the Prime Minister who is approximately 52 years old, um, who has made a 
prime minister's salary and MP salary and um, ministerial salary over his entire working life because he's always been involved in politics um, at the representational level. I mean, he went straight from high school into um, electoral politics. He went to work for Mr. Siaga uh, for a year or two in a charity that he ran and then Mr. Siaga's office as assistant. And then he um, went straight into being an MP, you know, with no experience, no real world work experience, no nothing. But he became an MP. And he has been in that all his life. And uh, his wife is, is, um, is an accountant. No, I have nothing against them personally. I'm just trying to ask you a question here. Um, how is it that he was able to make such huge amount of money from a political salary? And yes, we're told his wife was involved in investing. Well, a lot of the investments are in his name and his son's name. Um, in massive properties, um, huge properties, you know, um, hundreds of uh, thousands of dollars, and hundreds of millions of dollars in property value. Um, why did he choose to incorporate a company overseas? He lives here in Jamaica. He has not gone and lived anywhere else. You know, I have lived overseas in Canada and come back to Jamaica. He has always lived here. He has been a part of Jamaican politics for you know some thirty years or more. Why did he see it fit to set up companies outside of Jamaica in tax haven areas where? Apparently, he would want to escape paying the taxes here that he puts for us to pay, that he's a part of the governance structure that says this is the taxes that we are supposed to pay. This is how he wants us to set up companies here in Jamaica and the rules that we are to follow here in Jamaica. Why would he want to set up his company to own and control his properties outside of Jamaica? when he's the Prime Minister of Jamaica. Why would you want to do that? Now, that should cause you to be very concerned because these offshore companies um, and having accounts offshores and um, and having your the house you live in, the very house that you live in, is not in your name, but is in a company name um, that you incorporate overseas. Why would you do that as Prime Minister? I mean, I can understand any well-thinking, wealthy Jamaican would try to find ways to minimize their taxes and, and plan to optimize their tax position. But if you are the government, if you are a part of the government, a very significant part, Prime Minister even, a member of the cabinet even, uh, you know, prior to that, a minister of government, you're a part of the structure, a part of the system that makes the rules and the laws. Why would you, as Prime Minister, want to have your house, your properties, your rental properties or your business developments, why would you want to have an overseas company, an offshore company, own and operate or control those assets? Why wouldn't you have confidence in your own country to put all of your investments here because you know what a great job you're doing and you have, you're very patriotic about your country and you're a part of the structure that makes the laws of this country. Why wouldn't you want to have all of your assets here in the country that you are influencing, that you are directing, that you are building, as you say? Why would you have less confidence in that and want? And why would you not want to pay the same taxes that you are forcing us to pay because if we don't pay it you can lock us up or you know take away things and whatever so why wouldn't you want to do the same thing well i guess it's clear um one set of rules for you and a different set of rules for the rest of us you have no confidence in the tax system here you have no confidence in the governance here and so you want to have your business domiciled incorporated somewhere else to maybe avoid the taxes here um, and avoid whatever it is that you don't like about this country, you want to avoid it and that's why you go overseas. Now every Jamaican should question that and ask themselves the question, why would I want to vote for such a person to be my Prime Minister? Somehow split loyalties. Breaking news. Prime Minister Andrew Holness' wife, Jillette Holness, name suddenly appears 
on deceased Melissa Silvera family land title. Breaking news, breaking news, everyone. It was brought to my attention, yes, that Juliet Holness's name suddenly appears on Melissa Silvera's family title. I do not know where this investigation is heading, but interesting developments. There has been ballistic um, private investigation and it is now confirmed that Joel and Silvera's gun has nothing to do with the loss of his wife, Melissa Silvera. In addition, there have been a sudden twist into the case and the UK along with other UK dignitaries are now investigating the matter. So breaking news comrades, breaking news Jamaicans. God Almighty. It's breaking news Jamaicans. Yes, it is confirmed that Andrew Holness's wife, yes, Juliette Holness, her name now suddenly appear on the Silvera's family title for their land. Interesting developments and Joyland has nothing to do with the gun. Yes, so Joyland Silvera's gun was not the gun that was used to unalive his wife. Interesting development, comrades. I do not know where this investigation is leading to, but interest. Let me tell you something. Remember that PJ Patterson is the godfather of Melissa Silvera, and he would have vowed that he would get to the bottom of this investigation. And I am happy to sh share with you that the UK based investigation team is at it and they are making grounds they are making breakings into this case interesting developments ahead comrades because i'm getting to understand right that when the body left the home and arrived at the morgue when they saw the body at the morgue these three bullet wounds were freshly done and investigations are showing that she received these bullet holes while her body was in the morgue so someone in the morgue have carried out this gruesome act. Interesting days ahead, comrades and Jamaicans. Allegations are widely circulating the internet that the wife of the Prime Minister, Jolette Holness, is the proud owner of Jolie and Silvera family estate over there in Kobe St. Thomas. It's alleged that the Prime Minister wife name, out of nowhere suddenly appears on the family estate land title. It is also alleged that the former PNP member of Parliament Jolian Silvera, now in police custody, might not be the killer as his firearm was not. The gun that had been used on his wife Melissa Silvera, guessed it fair to the say the killer most likely still at large, interestedly though what does this mean for the homelesses? Stay tuned, the Jamaican media have been very hush-hush on this story, but as more info unfold on this extraordinary situation I be sure to update you.